Hey guys, good, even, good evening. Welcome back. This is Donna Sharp with Holistic Wellbeing. How is everyone doing today? I wanted to do my live because I'm catching the sun setting and I didn't want it to go all the way down before I did my live today. But today is my day 531 of doing these lives. I am your holistic and wellness coach with Holistic Wellbeing. And I wanted to, first of all, say welcome. And second of all, say that when I did my live yesterday, I spoke on the topic of journaling, poetry, being able to understand how to scribe things to keep it to memory. So uh, when I spoke on that yesterday, I, I do pray that you were able to take something away from it and put it to good use. If you're not someone that journal on a regular basis, I encourage you guys all how to, to write things out. A lot of times you don't necessarily have to put it in a whole scribe of far, as far as a paragraph, the grammar being good, the punctuation being good. Sometimes you wanna just make sure you do it in the form of just maybe a to-do list and then you can always join the words later because God will allow everything to start to flow together. So it doesn't have to be anything formalized and scripted, right? So just make sure it actually gets done. So we spoke on uh, the journaling and I wanna tell you that uh, yesterday when we spoke on that we covered just the basics behind it one of the additional things we didn't talk about yesterday that this actually helps with is um, encouraging you to strengthen up on your reading skills um, it helps your children with their imagination and just highlighting things in their life that they never necessarily thought about before that will be a benefit to them so again just encouraging you to continue the journaling now there was a story in here I didn't read and I was gonna read that to you yesterday, but I decided not to. So let's see what that says. Um, and just as a refresher, the, the, the attributes that it actually covers is on values, communications, education, sensitivity, and individuality. Those are actually the, the areas that this particular topic is gonna to help you with, all right? So there's a story here written, I'm gonna read it to you. It's written in 1993 by uh, McLean, Virginia. And it says that, Dear Grandma Jay, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I am meeting new friends and I'm fitting in pretty good. And this is a story directly from the book, How to Create Strong Families, that I'm reading from. Uh, it says, it's so green here and now the trees le tree leaves are changing to different colors like red, orange, and yellow. And the leaves are changing yet in Idaho. Remember, there's not always... Uh, leaf changing in every single state that we live in so when you're able to see that you can appreciate it and you go to another state then you get to miss the whole point of uh, the nice orange the browns and everything else that you look forward to just or or you miss when you're in that particular state right so how is mr. Trussell are you still doing such good work at the genealogy place and do you still go to play the piano for people over at the nursing home to go to school, I have to wake up at 6.20 a.m. It is hard to wake up. School is harder here than the West, <laughs> than the West. It's funny, when they write their stories, a lot of these children in the book, they, they, they spell the words exactly how they pronounce, it, pronounce the word, the child. And it's nice because it's very innocent and it shows them that they're at a level where they eventually will mature and understand what it truly means or how it's truly spelled. But it's just nice to see that as they're, they're growing up. So every day I meet more people if possible, uh, more people if possible can. See, they're just skipping <laughs> words all in between. I also ran for vice president at my school, but I lost. It's okay though, because I, le I learned a lot and met a lot of new kids. I can't wait until we see you again. When you're coming to visit, I also can't wait to go to Bear Lake uh, next summer and water ski. I miss you so much, but I guess that I will be out there again before I know it. I love you. Noah Airy. This is one of the children from the book, right? So P.S. Do you want the Braves to win it? I do. I can't wait until the NBA starts again. I think they will be great this year. So um, another story here by Richard. He says, when our second daughter started her first year at Boston, university we went with her to freshman orientation the university president addressing both parents and new students said write more letters and make fewer phone calls then at the end of the year instead of ooh, someone is greeting me here guys <laughs> so at the end uh, university president addressed both parents and new students said write more letters and make fewer phone calls then at the end of the year instead of a stack of expensive phone bills 
you'll have a stack of priceless treasures. So here they were encouraging the children to make sure they're writing more. Because as we mentioned, when you're journaling and you're writing and you're scribing things, you put it, you not only put it to memory, but it's, there are things that you can actually live and flow forward on. So remember, this section um, that we spoke on between yesterday and today, it really helps with understanding how to uh, get those things, do the brain dump that I spoke about and get those things out of your subconscious, get it on a piece of paper so that you're not worrying about uh, trying to formalize it so much as much as you are trying to get it out to make sense of it. And a lot of times you won't see that until you actually place it on paper, lay it out in front of you, and then you'll start to see how things just creatively come together. So I'm going to encourage you to just journal, uh, write your poetry. I know Miss Wanda, that's one of, one of the things near and dear to your heart. And um, understand that when you do this, you're strengthening your, your grammatical skills, you're strengthening your storyline, you're strengthening... Because we all, we all have a story. We all, we all have a story along the journey that we're on. And no one necessarily understands what that looks like. But it's not up to them to understand. It's for us to know. And us to understand the purpose of why we were placed there and the ultimate sacrifices that we've made that got us to this particular point. So I'm going to encourage you that writing, journaling, poetry, reading out loud to your children, those are some of the greatest attributes because... Um, in the end, at the in the long run, they'll be able to look back and just appreciate what you've asked them to do. And they'll see the benefits and the fruits of this labor from that later on as they're doing it. They won't get it at the given time, but they'll get it later on. All right? Yes, Miss Wanda. Let's see what she puts. So for me, writing things down pulls, pulls things together from spiritual realm to the physical realm. Yes, absolutely. It really puts everything in perspective because you don't necessarily see it until... The pen hits the paper and that's when everything starts to flow together uh, you know I spoke with a good friend today and one of the things that she said was you know I didn't really think of all those things but now that I've actually spoken it out loud and discussed it and talked about it it just makes sense that I, I was actually missing some things unless if, if I hadn't have spoken it out loud or necessarily you know if you don't write it out you won't see things you'll end up missing points along the ways these bugs they're very bold you know so keep doing what you're doing i'm going to encourage you to take those message uh personal right and try them uh, i'm going to encourage you to share this with others that may not necessarily take much stock into really dedicating some time on how to spend that quality time for themselves and build and expound upon themselves right because remember you can't help anyone else until you help yourself so when you're understanding things uh uh, a lot clearer and you're digging and you're trying to find out from whence you have come and what you are burying then and only then are you going to be able to identify with exactly where you are right now and where you need to go all right so share the slide with someone else if you feel it was beneficial to them i'm going to encourage you to do so um, and also love the live if you love it but i'll be back again here tomorrow to speak with you on some additional tips from this book as we're winding down i know i'm telling you guys we're winding down but when we get to the end, you will absolutely positively know. All right. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys back again here tomorrow. If you'd like to learn more about me, please log on to holisticwellbeing.com. That's spelled with a W, W-H-O-L-E-L-I-S-T-I-C, wellbeing.com. And if no one told you that they care, please understand that I do. And I care a lot about you guys. And I'm always praying for you. Miss Wanda, thank you so much for joining. And anyone else that may log on later on. Please do not just type replay, watch the live first, and then you feel free to type replay after that and place your comments in there. I like interaction. All right. So have a fantastic rest of your evening, guys, and I'll see you back again here tomorrow. Take care. Ciao.